our pet of the week is Roper. She is a seven year old blue healer mix. She's super sweet and loyal, loves belly rubs and going on little walks. She is great with kids, doesn't have a lot of energy, so she'll be a couch potato and just let you love on her. Roper weighs about 60 pounds and is considered fully grown. I think so at seven, <laughs> but she's going to be available at the North Texas Humane Society's Keller Welcome Home Adoption Center on Keller Parkway. And uh, they're open every day. From 12 to 6. I love that. She doesn't have a lot of energy. Yeah. <laughs> Just a potato. Well, it is Wild Wednesday. And we sent CBS 11 photojournalist Tom Ream to the Fort Worth Zoo. He joins us from the Children's Ranch with a look at a not so scary snake. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and we're at the Fort Worth Zoo for today's edition of Wild Wednesday. We are in the Toyota's Children's Ranch. And we have Melissa Blair to tell us about the snake. Melissa, what kind of snake are we looking at here? We have a corn snake today. We can bring her out every day for the guests so we can go ahead and let the guests pet her. They can feel what a snake looks like. Um, so then we can kind of educate them in terms of not really having to be afraid of snakes since we have them in our own backyards. And the, and the kids can come out and they can actually touch the snake and get absolutely, really... Absolutely, absolutely. We'll stand right where Adrian is right, right now and the kids can come up. We'll kind of tell them just to pet the snake with two of the two of the fingers and they can feel that she's quite soft. They can see how she how she moves, which is really kind of exciting. And why is it important to, you know, give kids a chance to get so up close and personal with a snake? We actually want to tell guests that snakes are more afraid of us than we are of them. So whenever they see a snake out in a yard, out on a, you know, patio or whatnot, that it's really okay because snakes are good they're they're actually good to um, have around so they can eat all of our mice, rodents, things like that. So it's what I try and tell people is would you rather have sna uh, mice or would you rather have snakes? And a lot of people are like, well, maybe it'll be not a bad thing to have snakes around. Okay, so if you want to get up close and personal with the snake, come on out to the Fort Worth Zoo. Bye.